son or daughter struggling with low self-esteem. Rachel Kay is here with some tips from an expert and a mom. First, you gotta do the truffle shuffle. Come on! Do it! Come on! Do it! The Goonies probably did not help Chunk's self-esteem or his love for baby Ruth's. And as a parent, what can you do to improve your child's self-esteem? Life coach Sandy Weiner is joining us via Skype this morning. Good morning. Now, what if your child has issues with food? What examples would you offer for a parent? Hey, Rachel. So it's really important that you handle food issues with uh, delicate care. When my daughter was about 10 years old, she started to put on some weight, which is normal for that age. And I wouldn't have said anything to her, but she came to me and asked for help. She wanted me to create a symbol that would help her to stop overeating at the table. So I pulled my ear, just like this, mm -hmm. and it would stop her from, from taking a second helping. And that really worked for her. So you gotta figure out what works for you. That's a great tip. Now, would single parents handle this, this, this situation the same way? I think single parents should try and stay on the same page, but if you can't, um, then really stay true to your own values and make sure that you uh, are consistent um, with your children. So what's the most important thing a parent can do? How can they set a good example for their kids? I think you have to model good self-esteem and good food-related uh, issues for yourself. So don't talk about your you know, spare tire or whatever it is that you don't like about your body. Don't stand in front of the mirror and say, ugh. You know, really just keep, keep uh, your body image uh, very positive and don't praise or criticize your child. You know, really just notice them for what they are, for who they are, and, and love them for who they are. Thank you so much, Sandy. For more healthy family tips, just go to bodychecklist.com.